we've been getting a lot of questions about single payer health care. Uh, you know, during open enrollment season, just about a month ago, in one day, three moms independently came in and cried because Regents is pulling out of our area and their monthly insurance rates were going up to 1700 a month. One was 1600 the other two were 1700 and their deductibles were $10,000. And some quick mental math tells you that that means they are spending $30,000 out of pocket before they get one bit of benefit from their insurance companies. The fact of the matter is that healthcare in this country is way too expensive, and a lot of the reason for that is because our insurance companies are for-profit institutions, which means that from a fiscal standpoint and also from an ethical standpoint, I would agree that a Medicare for All situation is the ideal. However, this is a big however, we can't get there overnight. And so what I have proposed is allowing people to buy into Medicare before they're 65 years old and letting it expand in a more natural, organic fashion. But um, yes, insurance companies are a big part of the problem. I, I recently talked to a small business owner who uh, was trying to make a decision to add people uh, to his payroll to grow his small business. And he couldn't because he had to continue to pay for his son's medical bills. And that's a decision that is bad for America, it's bad for the economy. The idea that healthcare is such a drain on our American economy is a problem. Now we're seeing private business jump into the healthcare system. You may have seen the headline from Amazon and from JP uh, Morgan Chase. Uh, that to me means the government has failed to solve a public health crisis. Uh, I believe in universal healthcare. We're not gonna get there overnight. There's no question. We can start by making incremental progress immediately because we can't wait until Donald Trump's out of the White House. We need to lower the age of Medicare at 55. We need to raise the threshold uh, for Medicaid because 36% of the people in Kittitas County and Schlamp County are on Medicaid and they're working. That is literally the working poor in America. And finally, we need to offer Medicare as a buy-in option when there's one or fewer private insurance markets because that will drive down costs and we need to allow the federal government to negotiate drug prices. Does that make sense? Thank you. So I support 100% access to affordable, high-quality health care. So that's universal coverage. How do we get there from where we're at now? I want us to do several things right away. Number one, lower drug prices. I know we can do it. We can use the bargaining power of Medicare that we haven't used yet and do it in a way that still incentivizes new cures. Second, I want us to lower premiums. We can do that by allowing people to buy into Medicare at a lower age, so that reduces the risk pool of those left in the private market. Third, I want us to institute a bunch of cost reforms that will lower costs, so price transparency and cost reforms. And then fourth, I want to make sure from a federal level there is sufficient flexibility for states to go ahead and experiment or institute single payer, payer should they choose to do so. A lot of people forget that Medicare did not happen overnight in this country. When it started in the 60s, it started in a few states first, they worked it out, and then expanded. I think that's the promise of the future for us as well.